the Amazon Basics Outdoor Volleyball Net. When the warm weather hits, if you're like me, you want to play as much as possible, but you don't want to be at the mercy of public court's availability. If you want the flexibility to play whenever, you might want to invest in getting your own net. So I hit the web and found this Park and Sun model it was quite popular, but at $340, it was a bit more than I was willing to spend. And apparently it's three times as much if you want lime green. So I kept looking and came across other brands, but I stumbled across this Amazon Basics model that comes with a badminton set as well. So I get rackets and birdies, and they had one used at a discount for less than 100 bucks. So I checked out the reviews, there were limited pictures, and I couldn't find a single video. So I bought it, it arrived, looked brand new, comes with this dual sport net that seems to be of relatively high quality, bright yellow lines, birdies, a pump, pretty substantial bag, really nice zipper surprisingly on this bad boy. Four Ferrari red badminton rackets of acceptable quality. You've got guy wires and ground stakes for tensioning. Your posts and there are all your poles. Everything fits quite nicely into the bag. There's that excellent zipper again. And now we're off, let's set it up. Pretty dang cinematic. These might be flying off the shelves when this video gets published. Nice little time lapse so you can't see me struggle in real time. Some selective cuts so I don't look foolish. This was my first time setting it up after all. Would definitely be easier with two people. Might have to go back and forth a few times to get it tensioned. Oh, pro tip, bring a hammer you will be glad you did. These lines look beautiful and they'll never look like that again. Setting up the lines is a pain in the ass. That said, it is doable and it'll get easier once you develop a system. It's worth doing anyway, because no one likes to argue about whether something's in or out. These pegs that anchor the corners are a little shallow. They could be deeper, but they get the job done. Twisting of the lines is almost unavoidable. One thing is for sure, the net looks good. And that's the explanation I give for why my surfs go into it. Every single time. Once you've tensioned the net up properly, it's quite secure and can withstand some good hits. Well, I don't know about good hits, but it can take an impact. Overall, I'm very pleased with this purchase. I've used it a handful of times now and appreciate my newfound ability to play where and when I want. No more relying on public courts or rec leagues that have to pack up after games end. For $100, it's plenty durable, setup is swift, and takedown is easy. Now it's not included, but when it's time to pack up, you'll want something like this to manage your lines. Packing up is really straightforward, doesn't take long at all. In the event, you know, there's a thunderstorm or a rival volleyball gang says that you're invading their turf, it's really easy. You can get out of there quick. I actually didn't fully disconnect that third pole section from the net. I kept it within its sleeve and I just rolled them up each to the halfway mark and that seemed to be pretty successful. Fit in the bag easily and zips up clean when you're done. 